All right, hey, it's Matt, Long House Garage. And today we're doing a DOD on an LS-based engine. This happens to be a 2009 Tahoe 5.3 that we're working on. Um, all the parts I'm gonna use will be in the description of the video. So check that out. Any questions, comments, or concerns you have, leave me them in the comments and we'll take care of that. So we'll first talk about a couple of random things. We're gonna be putting a, a stage two truck cam, a BTR stage two truck cam in a motor, make a little bit more power. Uh, and, no, and most importantly, we'll delete the DOD system. Number two, timing set. Since we are going to a three bolt timing gear, this is a Chloe's timing chain set. As I said, all parts will be in the description. Uh, this is a Chloe's timing set. We're going to replace the standard one bolt gear that came on this motor with a three bolt gear. So you'll need cam bolts and a timing set. And we're also going to be using a guide dampener. You'll see that later in the video. So the other thing, which I don't show you as we're assembling this engine, the, is the cam thrust plate. This gasket right here, be, very, be sure to replace this. If you're not going to replace it, double check and be sure that this lip, the, this gasket lip, is raised above this metal plate because if it's not, it's not going to seal and you're going to run into a whole bunch more issues with oil pressure because this blocks off the main oil galleys that run the lifters. So there you go. Let's jump right into it. We're going to knock some DOD plugs in and then we'll jump into installing a camshaft and all that good stuff. Let's bring it back. All right. So now here's what we got to do for this motor now. This is a DOD motor, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off the DOD port. I use these plugs. They do simple. They just sit in the hole, push them down as far as you can, take your little hammer. Barley. That's it. Done. Sweet. Simple. And they're threaded. So if you ever want to get them back out, let's see if I'll pull another one out of the bag because I'm dumb. Didn't show you all that. And they're threaded. So if you ever want to get them back out, you put a thread in and pop them out with a flat hammer. Work pretty easy, pretty gentle. That's like it. Set them in. Done. And here is our BTR Stage 2 truck cam. We're going to go ahead and install this baby. Nice and easy. A little bit of assembly lube. Make this quick and easy for us. All right, put a little bit right there. Kind of rub that down these little, these little guys right here. There you go. And everything should, in theory, go right together. Right, we're going to stop right here. I know, I know, I know, I know. And we're going to put just a little bit more on this journal before we go in. Okay. Now we're going to start feeding her in from right here. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe the camshaft down with some assembly lubricant. My bottle's a little low, so forgive me on that taking a minute and all to get all this stuff out of here. This will be the last time we use this bottle. Uh oh. And we're out. So now, grab our camshaft, kind of lube her up everywhere, and we'll set her in here. So I'll just grab it right here just like so. Be gentle with it. Don't force it. It will go. All right, now here's the part that a lot of people freak out about. Start, what you'll do is you'll gently rotate it, and it'll fall in on its own. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. And then on the LS motor, you can just reach in the backside of it and pull it right in the hole. And there it is, cam's installed. And one of the last things we'll be doing, finish this DOD setup. As you can tell, I've already replaced this plate back here, which is good. Make sure you always replace that plate, the gasket, um, if you pull the camshaft, because there's a gasket on the back that is very important for your oil pressure. So now what we're gonna do, take this guy right here, set it up. And we'll have to walk it around until we get her lined up. Because we know the cam and the crank are lined up currently. So once everything falls together, all you gotta do is put this one bolt in right here. Bolt it up. Make sure the cam didn't push out the back. And she should be lined up. Now let's double check it. Get you a good close up shot. There you go. She's good. All right, since we're deleting the factory guide out of it, we're gonna replace it with this guy. 
it'll just kind of go in here and sit between everything and keep pressure on the chain the way it belongs to make sure that we don't do no chain slap in it. We'll run these bolts all the way in and we're going to make sure that they won't bottom out into the crankshaft before we do anything um, because that is a very high possibility when altering stuff and if they do we have the original bolts that came out of the original guide right there. So give me a second. Again, tighten these up. God doesn't move. Now the question is, does the crankshaft turn? It does. All right, and it's oil pump time. Now I always disassemble these, pack them full of Vaseline, and then put them back together. So we've already done that, except for I might have to stop and take that balancer bolt out. So this thing should slide right over, gently kind of work her around just a little bit, and fall right in, and there it is. Kaboom, no silicone, no nothing. I'm we'll gonna bolt it up, four bolts. Done. All right, and the final step for on, the, on your DOD delete is lifters. So now, what we're gonna do, we've already installed some of them. We'll slip the bag open. And you just replace them with standard lifters and new lifter trays. Pretty easy. Except for the fact I can't hold the box and all this all in one hand like a moron. So now we're just going to do it like I normally would. There we go. Set them in, that, in there. Just like that. Just keep going. And we'll have four lifters in here. And this. Now we no longer have DOD lifters. All you do, take them, roll them over, gentle them in. They should hit the camp. They should hit there nice. If they don't, pull them out. Double check you didn't. You weren't stupid, which I know I'm not. Okay, that's not true. I know I am. Realign all the lifters. Line them up real good. They'll fall right in. And just walk them in. There it is, put the bolt in her, and that's it. And now, everything DOD left on the motor is gone. Um, the only thing we have left to do for this particular engine is um, valve springs, and that all depends on the camshaft. So I guess that's it for, for this one. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all have, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, got plenty of engine build stuff on the channel and other stuff that's fun. Big block Chevy, small block Chevys, LS. I got a couple Ford things coming, um, as well as, you know, just standard working on some junk. That's what I like to do. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. As I said, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, I read every comment. I reply to all of them. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to keep building this motor.